Go ahead, Dan. All right. Well, Coach, you're like, uh, I, I think this was either the first or I think this was either the first or second full week of, of training camp. I can't I can't remember which one, but just uh, on a status report of where guys have been picking things up uh, on what you've seen on film. Um, I know we've asked you, but just to, as a general start to finish, I guess, where we are right now, how's, the, how's everything starting to come together? Good. You know, we're finally able to get third down in, started red zone. Today we did some short yardage work. Um, so that's a big st st step. That's a lot of stuff we were not able to do in the short time we were together in the spring. So feeling pretty good about first and second down, where the players are at, starting to introduce third down, third and long, and then um, – some of the high red zone stuff we did yesterday. We'll do some low red tomorrow, uh, but we're working away to try to get everything installed. So the guys are doing a really good job. Um, they're locked in and we're moving, we're moving forward pretty well. Go next to AJ Black. Hi coach. Up, uh, so it's, you know, it's a different camp for everybody, obviously with all the changes that you have, but I imagine for the true freshmen, it's going to be a bigger challenge for them too. How are they handling the camp and how are they adjusting to everything that's going on, you know, on the field and off the field? I think they're doing a really good job. You know, a lot of them are getting a lot of reps because we're thin in a lot of areas. Um, you know, they'll make mistakes and, and they're learning. A lot of the football is new to them. A lot of the scheme is new. A lot of the volume of the scheme is new compared to what they were used to. Um, but yeah, I mean, imagine being an incoming freshman, your first time in college, your first time in a college football program with COVID going around. Um, yeah, it's, it's got to be hard for those guys. So, you know, we're trying to be there for them the best that we can, but we still got to coach them hard. Um, and they still got to help us out the best that they can, because some of them are going to see some action. But they've done a really nice job so far. We got a really good group of young guys. We'll go next to Julian. What's up, Jason? What's up, Jeff? What's up, Julian? Bob and Kick. Um, I think there's two real quick ones, but one, um, what have you learned about Max since you since you kind of gotten to meet him, get gotten to know him, his leadership style, uh, how's he kind of been a bridge or a conduit to some of the guys on the team as you've sort of tried to get to know him as well? Yeah, um, Max, I, I would say Max is one of the one of the good leaders on the team. Um, smart, tough, reliable. If you ever got a chance to come to our meetings, he sits in the front row. He has his notebook out. He probably takes more notes than any anybody. And from a fifth-year guy, that says a lot about it. Um, very mature. Um, has a good pulse for this team. He's a good communicator. Um, we have some really good conversations. Uh, I think he's a really good football player, and I think he's an outstanding person. I have a tremendous amount of respect for him. Um, in the way he approaches and handles himself. Um, you know, he's a pro, and he is going to play football for a long time. And then the other one would have been, I asked a couple of the guys, is what, like, how would they describe the BC bubble? What are they doing? How are they kind of letting time pass? Or are they playing board games, video games, whatever? But as, as a coaching staff, you know, how do you kind of make this function so that it's not just like, hey, we're in this dorm, uh, sleeping, studying, and watching some walls. Do you, do you have some activities lined up? Do you try to keep the keep the vibe up, to keep them keep them sort of engaged and occupied and having fun? Well, it's, it's training camp, right? So, regardless of right now whether you know we were in the pandemic dealing with COVID or not, training camp you're kind of in a, you're in in a bubble anyway. Okay. Uh, you know, it, 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 I think it's a really good question. Um, so when you're in training camp, it's like I said, it's Groundhog's Day, right? You wake up, you go to practice, you meet, you get treatment, you go to a walkthrough, you meet, you have snack, you go to bed, and you just do it over and over and over again. Um, but considering how long we've been here and how much these guys have mentally had to go through, we are trying to break that up. Uh, and we're trying to free their minds and let them get away mentally from football for a little bit. So last night, you know, rather than meeting or having a walkthrough, we opened up the pool and we had a movie in the field house and we didn't do football last night. So I think your question is awesome. And I think those are the things that we need to do because we can't just say everything's normal right now. These guys need a break. Uh, so we are trying to give them that. Uh, we have more activities planned next week for them and we'll continue to look into doing that. They deserve it. And um, 
you know, even us coaches right now, we need to get away from it a little bit to make sure we're recharged and our minds are sharp. And, you know, we come back and we give great energy at practice every day. We'll go next to Dan Rubin. You just touched on what I was going to ask there, Coach, about the the coaches and how they're responding to everything. Because I know we we always talk about the players in the in the bubble, but just how the how's the coaching staff handling everything? And I know this is their first go around all together as a unit too under the under the circumstances. I think they're doing a great job. Um, you know, it's a little bit different training camp for them too. We have more time. We've spread out the install a little bit more. Um, but then also, you got to give credit to the staff because the sacrifices that they've had to make too. Um, you know, these guys have been going at it hard. I know we were home, um, but even while we were home during the pandemic, these guys were working long hours, you know, um, through the night. And usually as a coach, you get about, you know, you get a handful of weeks off, whether it's three, five, you get, you get that time away because you need to be recharged and ready to go. Because once training camp starts, some of these coaches are in at 6 a.m. or earlier, and they don't leave until 10 p.m. And it's not Saturday and Sunday off. It's seven days a week until your bye week or until we do get a day off or sometimes it's the end of the year. Um, so I appreciate them and I give them a lot of credit too because they didn't have that big block of time off with their family away from football where they could free their mind and recharge. Um, so again, I'm not making any excuses for them. They've done a great job. We'll go to AJ. Hello again. Uh, question for you about kind of where you go next. So what is the plan for you in terms of, you know, planning out practices? Do you have scrimmages coming up or anything like that? What are you thinking about for the next week in terms of working with the team? Yeah, well, I kind of laid it out for the players. You know, we look at our start date, which as of right now is the 12th, right? So we still have time. What's today's the 15th, right? So we're still a month and three days away from playing. So we just, we don't feel it's necessary right now to, go hard, 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 hard off. Um, so we're keeping the mindset up. We're going really hard one day and it is full go and it is all out. And then the next day we kind of slow it down, but speed it up mentally. And then the next day full speed ahead. And then the next day we slow it down physically, but ramp it up mentally. So I'm not going two hard days in a row right now where it's just physical, 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 physical. We have time. So we believe we can get everything we need to be done if we kind of go every other day of really hard and then a little mental, you know, like a, like a jog through, run through type of day in between. And we're going to do that, you know, we're going to do that for a while more. And then we're going to have a, like a mini camp where we are going hard, where we are scrimmaging and, and doing all those types of things you just mentioned. Um, but we just don't feel like we need to do that at this point. Any other questions, guys, for Jeff? That's it. All right, great. Jeff, thank you very much. Appreciate it.